A lookup table, or a LUT, is a mathematical formula to remap the RGB and luminance values of your image to create a more well-defined color grade. And we love this because with one click, you can have a conversion from something like log, an overall style to unify your footage, or even the final grade. And there's many types of LUT, but for our purposes today, we're just going to be talking about technical LUTs and creative LUTs. But what's the difference between the two? A technical LUT is usually a conversion LUT of some kind. More often than not, this means converting your specific flat log image into another color space like Rec. 709. This is how I'm always converting my log image, by using the proper technical LUT for that specific log, like Canon's C-Log 2 or 3 to Rec. 709. And as you can see here, when I drag and drop it onto my clip, it immediately normalizes the color and contrast. A creative LUT is essentially your color grade. It's what sets the tone of your project, whether that be a dramatic look, a saturated horror look or retro look that imitates the color from a classic film. There's also creative LUTs made specifically for log footage that will do the job of both the technical and the creative. And of course, you can use a technical LUT along with a creative LUT as well, which is what I do most of the time, but we'll come back to that. You can add your own LUTs by going to Lumetri Color, choosing either Basic Correction or Creative, click on the Look dropdown and hit Browse. Then locate the LUT that you want and select it. But if you want your LUTs to be accessible directly in this dropdown, just follow the directory depending if you're on a Mac or Windows, of course, but go to Adobe, Premiere Pro, Lumetri, LUTs, and depending on whether it's a technical or creative LUT, paste it into the respective folder and you'll now see it in the LUT dropdown menu within Premiere. For me, I'm doing most of my work on adjustment layers that go over the clips as a whole. This way, if I need to make changes, it's in one place instead of a hundred. First step is to correct the footage, so I'll open the color workspace and in my Lumetri panel, I can add in my technical LUT to get into Rec. 709. Then I'll do my correction. However, like I said, I do prefer to work on adjustment layers, so I'll drop one above that and then add my technical LUT there. Now I can go back to my actual clips and use Lumetri on each individual one to make slight adjustments and balance these shots to each other. A great tip here is to go to Sequence, then tick Selection Follows Playhead, and now each clip will automatically get selected when the playhead goes over it. This makes it very quick to shift between shots for adjustments. Once I have everything balanced, I'll go back to my adjustment layer and inside of Lumetri and Creative, I'll add on my Creative LUT to get the overall look for my piece, often reducing the amount of the Creative LUT down. Or you can be a psychopath and ramp it all the way to 200% whatever your heart desires. I love lots. I love but now I could tweak further to get to the final look that I'm happy with, and then with one more pass, making specific corrections on each individual clip below, again to finalize, and I'm done. We made a title card for this section, but it's so quick and easy that we probably shouldn't have. But let's say that you created a look that you're happy with and you want to reuse it for upcoming projects. Well, you can export the entire Lumetri effect as your own LUT by right-clicking the Lumetri color tab and hitting export.q. And now you've created your own fancy LUT because you're fancy and you deserve a night on the town. But there you go, a quick and easy way to bring life to your footage. And as always, if there's something that you'd like to see us cover in the future, or if you have a question, just leave a comment in the notes below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more updates and tutorials like this one. Because you should.